next speaker is Samir Haddad from uh, Edit Compute. He's a senior director of product marketing there. And the title of his talk is Low Power Computer Vision with Edit Compute AI Vision Board. With that, I'll let you take it away, Samir. Everyone, okay, good uh, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Um, so, um, so I'm uh, part of the Eta Compute team. I've been with Eta Compute for a little more than uh, one year and a half now. And um, what we do at uh, Eta Compute is that we want to enable energy efficient AI sensors. So it's very relevant for TinyML, of course. We're all about efficiency and low power devices and even sensors. Uh, and to give you a quick uh, uh, history of uh, where we come from and what we are doing now, um, just one slide, and after that we go into the more hands-on stuff. Uh, we started with uh, first uh, devices uh, doing very uh, efficient processors, and the, the, the device that we launched last year was this ECM3542. So it provides uh, uh, acceleration at the edge and the very... Uh, uh, low power for uh, the, the type of workload that could, you can have for tiny ML. And then uh, we moved on to software because, of course, you want to run a neural network at the edge. You need a very good uh, software stack, very uh, optimized for your hardware. So we launched TensorFlow last year also. That was that is our platform, software platform for the uh, edge ML. Uh, edge ML. And then uh, finally, uh, we because we saw the, the need from our customers and the need from the, the, uh, the, the markets for more complete solutions with algorithms, neural networks, and uh, systems and boards, we moved into subsystems and boards uh, with um, uh, pretty fine neural networks. Um, and this is what I'm going to talk about uh, today with uh, a prototyping board that we launch and how you can use it. So, uh, if you are interested in more about our, our software stack or TensorFlow platform and and how we uh, we run our uh, machine learning runtime, uh, there is a talk by um, uh, our software architects uh, Nilanjan uh, Roshoduri at uh, uh, I think it's in the, the morning tomorrow. Uh, it's uh, it, talks about our software runtime for hybrid multi-core architecture. So uh, now let's talk about vision, uh, computer vision for um, edge devices. If you look at um, computer vision, uh, there is a, a very big diversity of what you can do and what type of vision you can do. And the same way uh, in the animal kingdom, you have uh, lots of variants of vision from, um, um, I would say, the platform, for instance, that has only two receptors up to the uh, human eye that is more than 120 million receptors. You have lots of variants, and the same is true for machines. Uh, you can have a detector with one pixel and still vision, but just one pixel, like the PIR sensor, for instance, up to the uh, 120 million pixels that you have uh, in the latest smartphone. So, of course, when you're talking about low power vision, we are not looking at the highest performance. It's in the range of one pixel to one million pixel. You can get uh, some uh, good sensors, low power sensors that go up to, I would say, one, one uh, megapixel. So, with that in mind, uh, um, at Eta Compute, we, we developed one, one board for um, dedicated for vision. And it's again, it's part of our uh, subsystem and board uh, uh, line of product. So we, we launched last year a first one that had uh, accelerometer and temperature sensor and, and microphones. So we launched a new board with this uh, uh, vision capability with the idea of enabling uh, low power vision. So if you look at what we have here, you have, of course, a camera, which is an IMAX uh, HM0360 90 uh, camera with 96 degree lens. It's a very low power camera in one milliwatt. Uh, you can do image, um, image acquisition. We have also our 3542 uh, processor, which is our very low power AI processor. And then uh, we add some additional sensors like uh, Gyro, microphone, ambient light sensor, uh, 
We have also uh, Bluetooth connectivity because it's a low power uh, board, so you can you can do low power connectivity. Uh, of course, the battery, uh, some memory also to do some data acquisition and storage, uh, and then some interaction with uh, a user interface with uh, LEDs, uh, buttons. Uh, we have also an extension card that you can use for additional sensors or other wireless. And then uh, one connector that is used for power and uh, communication. So typically when you will use this board and, and program it, you will use this connector and then you can just disconnect, put the battery and deploy in the field. And uh, just for your information, so the board is available on DigiKey and we have uh, um, a special offer until the end of the month where we have 50% of the board. But now let me uh, look at what you can do with the board. So uh, the first thing you can do, and it was the one very nice uh, example in the previous lecture, is you can do human presence detection. This is becoming popular. You can do people versus no people. Uh, you can do one versus many. Uh, do also people counting, so it's another um, type of uh, person awareness. You can count the number of people in your room, you can detect it is a crowd, for instance, or if uh, people are, you have just enough people that, that comply with the COVID-19 rules. Uh, you can do also object detection, so we can do various classes of objects, you can count the number of objects. And then because the board has also um, microphone, you can still do voice and sound classification, and you can do gesture detection as well. So our boards, this board is supported by uh, our partner Edge Impulse, and this is the way uh, we really would like to, or, or, um, uh, users to, to, to experience it first, because this Edge Impulse tool is very easy to use and very, uh, I would say, scalable. Um, so we support today vision and voice uh, with Edge Impulse, and we're coming soon with uh, gesture. So I'm going to give you a, um, an example to show you a demo of how you do that. And uh, for this demo, um, I have um, two objects that I want to classify. Uh, the first one on the right is my microphone, is my friend, it's very friendly. But uh, on the left side, I have Ellie and she's coming for me, so I have to be careful. So I really want to uh, detect between these two, uh, these two objects. So let's now have a quick view of how you do that. So I'm using the Edge Impel tool. And uh, what I have in this Edge Impel tool, I have connected my device, so with my uh, USB cable and, and the connector, you see the AI Vision board is connected to the, to the tool. And I can do the data acquisition. And what is very nice is that it's interactive, as you can see. Um, so I will put uh, the name of a label, like microphone, okay, here. Then I will uh, select the size, uh, the picture size. Okay, I'm doing this size. And I can start sampling. So. You can see it's starting and getting a snapshot. I have a first uh, sample of my microphone data. Uh, and I can do like that, uh, acquire several uh, samples of my, my classes. Um, it, you need around 50 samples of each class to, to have a good uh, classification and good result. And uh, if you go, uh, if you scroll down, you can see when I do the uh, acquisition, it shows also uh, the picture of uh, the acquisition. So you can verify if uh, this is the right uh, picture, is the right way you want to have your um, uh, data, that you want to have your um, um, your class. So you do that, you, you acquire, again, very inter interactively, with the board connected to your PC, you can acquire uh, your samples. And once you have uh, enough samples, then you can go uh, to the training uh, uh, step. So the training step you have, we go now to the, uh, what you call impulse design, which is the, the design of your in, impulse. You say it's a 48 by 48 image. Uh, and then you select the grayscale because our, our camera on the board is a grayscale camera, which is enough for all what we want to do. 
And then you start training. So before, before starting, you select the neural network, right? So you have several variants of neural network you can choose. You can choose uh, depending on what accuracy, what memory you want to have to use. And then you train the model. So I'm showing here uh, an accelerated version of the training. Uh, it's anyway uh, less than 10 minutes to train, and it's a transfer learning. So you're not training the full neural network, just just training the uh, the last layer of uh, of the network. So you can see here, oops, training, oh, it's complete. So after that, you can see the results. So you can see here the confusion matrix with all the classes. Uh, and you have an idea of the features also, you can explore. And then you, you can test your, your model with uh, your test samples. So that's what I'm doing now. You can see here there is one sample that is not well classified. So you can explore after that and retrain and so on. Um, but um, the, and the next step is for you to deploy. So you can see here the board is available on already there on the, the tool. So you select the board, you can analyze the optimization. It will give you uh, the memory usage for RAM, ROM, latency, uh, and accuracy. So you have an idea of what you're getting. And then you can build. So when you build, you can directly deploy to the board that is that is connected to your disk. So it's very, very easy to deploy. You don't need to, to uh, open any other tool. You download a zip file, and in that zip file, you will have uh, the uh, the, the program to, to program your board. So you just extract it, okay? Now you're going to open a PowerShell, for instance, on Windows. So here the PowerShell was running the daemon for my board. So I, I finish and I, I connect to the, to the place where I have my zip file uh, extracted. And then I run the program to program my board. So, oops, very good, very quick flashed under, under Windows, the bat, and it's programming the balls. Just a few seconds to program it. Oops, it's done. And now I can run uh, the impulse, so run the uh, neural network. So it's running, sending me messages uh, on the screen, you can see, sending the classification. So I'm classifying, classifying the microphone and detecting microphone. You can see 90%, 70% is really uh detecting the microphone so that's in a very quick uh overview of how you can uh, use this uh, ai vision board and uh, the tool from our partner edge impulse to uh, build neural network low power neural network and low power uh, computer vision application so if you want to know more we have a, a webinar on march 41st uh, with Axter.io, um, Compute, and Edge Impulse uh, about this AI vision board. So we have a little more. We have one hour where you can review the full process in detail, and we can also show you how you can use the other um, elements on the board, like the BLE, the buttons, the, uh, uh, the, the LEDs, to do something, a real application that you, you can run from the battery. Um, so um, that's it for my talk, and I'm ready to take questions, Ivan, if you have any. Thanks, man. That was very good. Very interesting and very impressive, really, what you can do with that board uh, very easily. Um, you know, you said it's available at discount uh, until the end of the month uh, for $64, which is a, a great price. Um, what other applications are you seeing? I mean, when, if you get that thing out there, there could be any number of things that it could be used for. So, are you, are you, are you seeing, uh, you know, any interesting things that you haven't mentioned today? Um, yeah, yeah, we have we have lots of. So, for this board, in fact, of course, the focus is vision, but you have also these other sensors. But I would say, if you if you look at the vision uh, space, uh, so we see. Of course, uh, people awareness is very popular right now, uh, not only for uh, uh, user user management, user interface, so detecting people before a machine does something, but also, uh, I would say, verifying compliance, for instance, if people wear helmets or if people wear masks. So these are these are things that are um, that 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 could be possible with with that board. Uh, we see also some interest. Uh, um, 
uh, in doing some, uh, let's say, uh, um, monitoring uh, some activity visually. So I give you an example. For instance, you have a, a red light in your uh, in your building that says there is something, an emergency coming. Instead of trying to hook some uh, IoT uh, uh, board to you to your device and open it and do all these things to to, to monitor what if that when that, that that alarm is is getting on getting on. You can uh, have a camera in front of it, and then you detect when the, the red light is getting red. So that's a very simple application, but it's a very, uh, very interesting concept. So we see uh, some people looking at how can I monitor events uh, visually instead of uh, uh, by connecting on or, or uh, interacting in the getting into the device or or, or redes redesigning it. You can just get stay keep the same thing but mm -hmm. uh, monitor even visually great all right uh, uh, again just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors bear with me for one minute we have different categories we have executive sponsors first one being arm then we have qualcomm We have Samsung, Platinum Sponsors, Ada Compute, Lattice Semiconductor, Gold Sponsors, Brainchip, Babel Labs, DSP Group, Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs, Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob, Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo, Reality AI, Sensi ML, Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, and lastly, Silver Sponsors, Edge Cortex, Hachi, and Synsets.